you say we finally get this music box finished up? What you what you want? What you what you want? start this thing off by painting this uh, cool little, little pumpkin head plus it gives me an excuse to play with my uh, my airbrush that I need to uh, really practice with but, uh, let's get after it Mix a little yellow in and uh, create some highlights. Now I'm going to go after this uh, with a brush and uh, some watered down yellow and bring out the, these highlights a little bit more. Turn that light off and you can start seeing what uh, adding that yellow, creating that highlight all around that pumpkin does. Now we're going to go back with some brown, water down, and we'll hit all these grooves in here and darken that down some. helps out brings a little more depth to this thing time to paint the eyes and mouth with a little bit of black paint so there we go that's pretty well close to being done I may do a brown wash over the top of that, but the little pumpkin looks pretty good. Now since uh, I used hot glue to create these little viney hands, I went ahead and went outside and uh, hit these with some spray paint primer. And then uh, we're just going to hand paint these up with a brush, um, not use an airbrush. We're going to start out with a little darker paint, a little dark brown here, and then I'm going to come back over and highlight it uh, or dry brush it with uh, a lighter brown and I may even hit it with uh, a little bit of green um, who knows we'll just see what happens on this thing so we're gonna correct that real quick uh, we're gonna use a toothpick a little uh, mold builder latex and throw this uh, stem on here real quick so we can paint it up and continue on with this project now I'm gonna use a kind of a nasty old brush because this stuff doesn't come out very good and You'll ruin a good one. Now we're going to let that uh, dry up a little bit. It should take 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, but it'll be dry enough that we can paint and move on. Uh, so there also the reason instead of uh, machining that, since I forgot it and I want to get this project done, this buildable mold latex is thick. 
goes on quick and easy and it dries fast. And if you just blob it on like I did there, kind of rough, it it leaves a decent little texture to represent a vine or you know a stem. So it works well and will work for this project. So that's what we did. Okay, as you can see, I didn't go black on this thing um, <laughs> just because I didn't have any. But uh, a little red and some other crap I had just to dirty this thing up. But we're gonna creep this out a little bit more. And so I was thinking about putting some moss Going some moss in underneath here so it's kind of sticking out over the hands and some in here around the neckline. And then after that we'll drape this thing with some uh, um, burlap anyway. So let's get some moss on here. So I was trying to figure out how to remount these arms. I don't really remember exactly how they were mounted in the first place, but I think I'm going to use some of this floral wire and attach it onto here. I know the head's set on top of this. We may have to put another extension on this for that pumpkin, but uh, we'll see. I'm thinking that I'm going to put these on and then put this on before I hang the burlap. This is a real pain now to get these hands fed through, but we're gonna try it. shaping up too bad. I think that's going to work out pretty, pretty decent. And our head will sit on here something like this. And I think we're going to be pretty well good to go. So here's the thing. I've been playing around with this now. Um, the head's pretty heavy. Uh, for this, I mean, it's it. I don't know. It, it it's not bad. It doesn't weigh a pound or anything like this. But for this little structure here, it was a much lighter head and it moved easier. Uh, it still works, and we're gonna I'm gonna go with it. It's just slow. It doesn't move as fast as what it did as it did before. Um, what I'm gonna do, I've been playing around with this quite a bit. I'm just gonna really load this up with a lot of hot glue, and I gotta put it in and glue it down kind of at an angle like like this that way I can distribute some weight back towards the back side of this thing because without that if I mount it like this it never wants to lift back up so we're going to come in here I'm going to glue the snot out of it <laughs> and have that head tilted like that and then I'll put some more uh, moss in that neck area so you can't see it but uh, that way, at least, it functions and turns. I'll put a little more um, latex on there. I'm going to go ahead and glue the head up now, and then I'll uh, paint this stem up after that latex dries. How awesome is that? I just glued this thing on here, and I forgot to show you. <laughs> so i got to fill some more glue in some of these spots and make this a little more secure. music box is now finally done we can check this off the list uh, I think it turned out pretty cool I'm happy with it it moves a little slow but you know it works at least it still works I mean it looks cool and it's functional so this will do good on uh, top of the fireplace mantle or something like that uh, for Halloween decoration anyway um, I'm happy with it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little kind of step-by-step 
thing that I put together for this one. Um, in the future, yeah, now that I got off this, we're going to get on to Halloween's coming up pretty soon, and I got to make some, uh, really got to start making some props for the yard and take care of that. And I want to add some new things. So as I start doing some of these new props, I'll uh, video progress along as those things go. That way you guys can keep up if you want to. Um, anyway, if you guys like this stuff, give it a good thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, follow along. I'm making Halloween stuff all the time. Uh, some of it, uh, some of the future stuff here for the yard may be a little bit slower. I need to produce some content for VIP over there at unhingedprops.com and I need to produce some other content for everybody over there. So, got a lot going on on the plate and trying to stroke, uh, trying to really make a balance of everything. But it's going to come together. It's all coming together nice. If you guys like this type of stuff, keep watching. I'm going to make more. And like I like to say, keep making something from nothing. What you, what you want? What you, what you want?